Hi, welcome to the section ACA Streams. What are we going to cover in this section? In this section, we are going to start introducing ACA and ACA Streams. For that, we need to understand first what is an actor based concurrency. Then we'll see how ACA implements the reactive streams. We'll talk about sources, sinks, flows, and graphs. To finish, we'll see how we can implement some error handling with it. Let's kick off with the first video of this section, Introduction to ACA. In this video, we are going to talk about message-driven applications and actor-based concurrency. That's going to allow us to understand better the impact of ACA and ACA streams. A message-driven architecture is the foundation of reactive applications. It can be event-driven, actor-based, or a combination of the two. In the first volume, when we talked about the four principles of reactive applications, we briefly talked about the differences between an event-driven concurrency and an actor-based one. We said that an event-driven system is based on events which are monitored by zero or more observers. Actor-based concurrency is an extension of the message passing architecture, where messages are directed to a recipient, which happens to be an actor. The main difference between messages and events is that messages are directed while events happen. Messages have a clear destination, while events may be observed by zero or more observers. An actor is a construct with the following properties. A mailbox for receiving messages, the actor's logic, which relies on pattern matching to determine how to handle each type of message it receives, and an isolated state, rather than a shared state, for storing context between requests. Actors can pass messages back and forth, or even pass messages to themselves. An actor can pass a message to itself in order to finish processing a long-running request after it services other messages in its queue first. Actor-based concurrency has a huge benefit of scaling across the network boundaries. This makes it easy to design, build, and maintain highly scalable applications. ACA is toolkit and runtime for building highly concurrent, distributed, and fault-tolerant applications on the JVM. ACA's approach to handling concurrency is based on the actor model. The actor model is defined by three traits. A behavior, reacts to events, a state model, and the fact that they send and receive immutable messages. As we said before, an actor processes messages sequentially. Multiple actors can work at the same time, and there is no shared state. The interaction between actors is purely asynchronous messages. ACA supervisors provide exception handling. The Let It Crash model provides fault tolerance, and it also provides location transparency. It abstracts the idea of where the actor lives. ACA Streams is an implementation of reactive streams. It is interoperable with other reactive streams implementations. ACA Streams provides a way to express and run a chain of asynchronous processing steps acting on a sequence of elements. Every step is processed by one actor to support parallelism. The user describes the what instead of the how. For example, things like batching, buffering, threat safety are handled behind the scenes. We're going to leave it there. We've learned how an actor-based system works and what ACA is.